Angie Allen, personal trainer, back again. We're going to do some more complex combination exercises, but this time concentrating really not just on your lower body, but kind of making it all over because we're going to do exercises simultaneously, i.e. working lower body and upper body at the same time. First, so if you recall, I showed you how to do the squat, nice and low, making sure that your knees aren't going past your toes. Instead of just leaving it at that, Let's add some weights, so we'll squat down, and then we'll go to shoulder press. Squat down again, and shoulder press. So as you see, I'm bringing the weights down to my slides as I squat down, then bringing them up to my shoulders, touching at the top, and bringing it back down again. You do your 12 to 15 repetitions, and you feel your whole body working all at the same time, even your abdominals, which is what I know we all want to do. Then, if you remember, we were doing the lunge, and we're alternating legs at one time. Well, instead of just lunging with the weights so that I have it on the side, we can also lunge down and do the lateral raise like we did in previous videos. Just making it, as you see, <laughs> I lose my breath, that much more challenging, but that much of a good workout on your heart as well, in cardiovascular. And then, one last thing that we haven't done is what we call step ups. We did the step ups kind of with the, the uh, calf raises on the, on the stairs, but instead of just using it to step up on it, we could step up, punch up at the same time, and come back down. Always remember to breathe. <laughs> and then of course, alternate legs. Even yourself out, come back down, and punching up. Again, anything that's making myself go above my heart and moving my legs, burning all the calories and the fat all at one time. <laughs>